This is Jeff from Brick's Pizza Chicago. Uh, we're gonna make a pepperoni pizza here. Non-Chicago style, non-Neapolitan style, non-thin crust style, uh, only Brick style. Cheers for any reason To wet my appetite All right, uh, Brick's Pizza Dough, uh, wheat and high gluten. Uh, we made this dough uh, early afternoon yesterday, uh, hot, let it cool overnight, give it some more flavor. We uh, cut it out of our portion bags, obviously not giving any recipes out. Uh, no, secrets no secrets. We flour it up so it doesn't stick to the board the whole time. Each dough size has a different uh, ounces to it, which we won't show you, but we will cut some some doughs up. Try to give us a nice wide playing field. Try to give it all some flour just so it doesn't stick. Yeah. We're kind of just going by uh, ounce size here. And I'm going to do our big doughs. Then you uh, get it to the size desired. We roll it all manually into balls. Like that. And you just, it's literally repeat for 12 bags, 8 to 12 bags a day. Uh, we, you know, we give it a little coating of flour just so it doesn't stick. And it goes back in the cooler and it comes out about an hour before we need it, let it warm again. Yeah. And, uh, it's a rolling procedure after that, um, which I can show you guys next. So our other doughs, as you can see, they've they've set for their, the night before, so they're a little softer, they're not as cold and hard. Um, our process here consists of usually putting it in the flour, pounding it flat, shaking off the excess, because we don't want it to be too flour. We're just trying to make it so that it uh, doesn't stick to the board as much. We go with the rolling. Try to get the ends nice and flat so we don't have a crust. Add a little more flour so it doesn't stick. And give it some character. And if we have to get it a little bigger, we go to hand size. You can give it a throw if you ever need to. Just makes it round, really. There's nothing but being fancy and trying to keep it round. Cornmeal. Just so it slides. A lot of places don't like cornmeal. Some places use semolina. Some places their dough is so dense and cold that it'll never stick to the board, but ours is usually kind of warm. Yeah. Our next process is, depending what kind of sauce you want, pesto sauce or artichoke sauce or pizza sauce, sure. we sauce in it. Try to go in one smooth motion. And like I said, we go to the edge as much as we can. So there's really not a crust on any of it. Cheese it on, fan it out. And that is a cheese. Anything you wanna make for? I'll just do a simple pepperoni. Done. It's uh, America's favorite topping, looks nice too. We try to keep everything linear so that, you know, when you cut it, it's pretty much hopefully the same amount of ingredients in each slice. Yeah. So that when you're sharing a pepperoni and sausage with somebody that everybody gets pepperoni and sausage. Yeah. We check our board to make sure it's still moving. And then we're gonna put it in the oven real quick over here on this side. Cool. We put on what we like to call dust. It's okay. our own mix of ingredients of Parmesan, oregano, and some other things. We like to put it on top versus too much in the sauce so that you've got two different kinds of uh, seasoning. And then it goes right into the oven over here. And this you've probably seen a million times, but there is a little bit of a skill to it. It's not just dump it in as quick as you can. You put it in so you keep it nice and round. Yeah. And that's it. That's the pizza making.